Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Terrific Tuesday. It is that day that we're almost right in the middle of the week, and we thank God for the wonderful things He's doing in all of our lives. Today, I want to invite you to say, God, I thank you for being so terrific that I'm going to trust you with all that I have. You know, the Old Testament prophet finds, uh, Jeremiah finds these words for us. In Jeremiah 1, verses 4 through 10, from the New Living Translation, he said, The Lord gave me this message. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart to appoint you as my prophet to the nations. Oh, what a powerful word. This begins to let us know that God has plans for us even before we were conceived in our mother's womb. Even before we were a twinkle in our dad's eye, he says, the Lord gave Jeremiah this message. He says, before you knew it, before I formed you, before you were conceived, he said, I knew you. This text begins to let us know that God knows us before we even come into our current state of existence. This text reminds us that God is God Almighty and that all souls are created and God is the one who creates souls. You know, the truth of the matter, we are spiritual beings that occupy a body. So that means that our spirit dwells someplace before we entered this body and made our way to earth. I'm of the belief of this text, like this text lets us see that we were with God in heaven. God sent here on earth for a purpose, for a plan. Today, I hope you can find out what is your purpose. I hope you can find out what is God's plan for your life. He says, I appointed you as a prophet. This text lets us see that Jeremiah was appointed as a prophet. God decided to use him while he was young. And for that reason, God tells Jeremiah, don't say I'm too young. You're just the age I want you to be. You know how sometimes you and I, we begin to make excuses. I'm too young. I'm too old. I'm too this. I'm too that. I'm not enough. I'm not this. We always have an excuse. But God says, I got a plan for you. When we know God has a plan for us, let's put our faith and our trust in God. Let's not look in the mirror and make excuses for why we can or cannot be this or do that. Let's begin to just put our faith and our trust in God. God said, I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. I had a plan for you. Let's find out what are the plans of the Lord for us. I love it so much. And why verse nine says this. Then the Lord reached out and touched my mouth and said, look, I put my words in your mouth. Isn't it great when God puts his words in our mouths? Then that gives us the assurance that every time we speak, we're speaking the word of God and we're doing what God has put within us to say today. What's coming out of your mouth? I hope you and I can say it's the word of the Lord to encourage the people of God and those who don't know them, don't know him, for them to know that God loves them in such a way and God wants to do great and marvelous things in our lives. God tells Jeremiah, lastly, I want you to know that I've appointed you. I put my words in your mouth. I want you to tear up stuff. I want you to tear down stuff. I want you to overthrow stuff. But after you do all of that, I did. I want you to build it the right way. It's important for us to make sure that we build our lives in such a way that everybody will know that God is at work and we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed because God has a great blessing in store for you. So take the Lord with you everywhere you go. And I look forward to talking with you again on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org and select sow a seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.